look at this instrument. Do you know what it's called? Yes, it is a trumpet. Would you believe that it started out looking like this? A flat piece of metal? Metal is made of matter. So is everything around you. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. And matter can be changed or combined to make other things. Look at this piece of paper. You can fold it, cut it, tear it, stack it or crumple it. Even though it is changing shape and size, it is still paper. Some scientists study what things are made of and how they can be changed. This is a civil engineer. She builds and designs bridges using a lot of different materials. If you change matter, does it stay that way forever? Changes to matter can be temporary or permanent. We call temporary changes reversible changes. A reversible change means that the matter can go back to the way it was before you changed it. When you mould, fold or bend something, you can reverse it. It can be put back the way it was before. This sculptor pushes and smashes down a block of modelling clay, then smooths and pats it into shape. At the end, the sculptor can mush it back into a lump of clay and start all over again. We call permanent changes irreversible changes. Can you think of some examples of irreversible changes? An irreversible change means that the matter cannot be put back exactly the way it was before. If you cut, tear or burn something, that change is irreversible. If you cut a loaf of bread into slices or tear a piece of paper into parts, you cannot put it back together exactly the way it was. When you put a raw egg in a pan and cook it, is that an example of a reversible or irreversible change? That's right, it's an irreversible change. You can combine different pieces of matter to make something. For example, you can combine many small building blocks to build a larger structure. They have to put monster spawners in here. You can also combine and build things in a game. While the materials in a video game do not have real mass, they are treated like matter in the game. Civil engineers often use computers to test their designs before building them in real life. This is how it will look when it's done, and it's almost there. The same process of combining materials happens when building a trumpet. This machine cuts a sheet of metal into smaller pieces. Different pieces are bent and turned into new shapes. Next, the metal is heated so it can be smoothed into another shape. It is also combined with other pieces of metal that have different shapes. Step by step, the object goes through reversible and irreversible changes. Eventually, it forms a trumpet. So when you are at school, home or playing with your friends, take a look around and try to spot the matter around you. For example, think of a piece of wood. What are some of the ways you may be able to change it? Would these changes be reversible or irreversible? <laughs>